Welcome back, lords and ladies, to another fabulous YouTube video here. We're going to go over some of the events that's going on that the game and developer is giving away for these new players coming in and events that will stay in the game for the rest of the remainder of time. My Lord, Glory of Kings has launched March 28th, 2018. We have opened events, discounts, and store for Archons. And that means us, us lords. Let's go over some of the events here. Get a gift after shared. You share the game on Facebook and receive some gold. Everybody loves gold. Not too hard to share the Facebook. And also one of the other events that they'll tell you or missions you have to do is give a five-star rating to Google Play to get some more gold. That's not too hard now. Crazy collection. During this event, collecting a certain amount of farmland, lumberyard, iron ore, or gems to receive a gift every day. And the task is reset daily. So these are not too hard. You're going to need resources while you go along anyways. So go ahead and pick up some resources while you're in the game. Start welfare. The Archons receive the welfare quickly. During this event, completing assigned tasks to re receive start. That might be worded a little bit funny there. But it's just like the daily task. You do it every day. And you'll get a good amount of gold as you can see with that chest going on at the front there. The mysterious runes, once you get into the game, you want to find you some runes that every time you hit a new rune, not, let me back that up, every time you hit the runes, you will receive a better prize. That means more speed ups, more resources and other sorts of things like that. And it'll go up progressively in different tires as you go up. Once you complete all of it, it'll go back to normal collection of different prizes that you get. But when you get up to the top prize, it only takes a few minutes. You've seen in other games where you've had to stay in a rune for maybe an hour, four hours, eight hours. And you get nothing. They just hide the troops there and you get limited amount of XP. These ones only take about five minutes to complete and they come back with fantastic rewards. Doesn't take any of your stamina. So you can hit them as much as you like and keep on getting fabulous rewards for this. Resource collection. During the event, the resources mine and reserve, reserves on the world map will be increased by 20%. The base rate acquisition increased by 15. So that means inside your base, while this event is going on, you got 15% more resources coming in. You can mine 20% more resources outside. And that way, you can get your stuff done faster. You're going to have to get resources anyways while you're mining, so you might as well go ahead and use up this 20% extra they're giving you today. Not today, but during the event that it has. Limited competition during this event. Completing assigned tasks to get points at the end of each phase. When your points are up to standard, you will gain a reward. It's probably gold or resources or speed ups. All of them you're going to need eventually. The top 100 players receive a reward. And icons, acronyms who complete the five phases can participate in the strongest Archon ranking. Top 100 players get rich rewards. So you get in the top 100 for that and for the strongest one, you get double the rewards. Probably double the gold, double the resources, and double the speed ups. And everyone loves a nice reward out of that. The Anubis Raft here. If you've ever played other games, it might be called the Dark Knight. And this is the same thing here. But if you haven't played, let me go over this real quick for you. Anubis Wrath. Peace shields have no effect on the Dark Knight here. The more Anubis you defend, the better your rewards will be. Anubis will not attack you if you have failed twice. And at that time, you can reinforce other allies and still receive points as they attack your allies. If the Allies fail twice and this Alliance event is over, you can only participate once the Alliance event starts. Anubis will not rob your resources and they will only cause a small amount of damage to your troops, making this pretty easy to go on with without having to use so much food and wood to reheal your troops up. But one thing you need to note here, once you receive, you will not receive any rewards if you leave the Alliance. This thing is going to open up on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at the beginning of the server. Players need to be R4, so please let your Alliance members know, or your leader know, to put you at R4. And only the highest stage rewards you have achieved can be collected. You cannot collect if you died out. If you won 1, 2, and 3, and 4, if you maxed out at 4 and died there, you will receive 4, not the 1, 2, and 3. Please keep that in mind. There's a 7-day mission here. The first day, you're going to want to kill a bunch of monsters. The highest ones you need to kill is 200 monsters. You want to train 2,000 of each one of your troops, get your lord level up to a 3, and get your castle level up to, I think, level 8 there. 
So there's seven days of that. You might not be able to complete everything in the first day there. If you stayed on for 24 hours, you might be able to do it. But most of us have to sleep and go to work, so keep that in mind. Once you get to day three or four, you should be able to complete one and two. And hopefully you make it on the seventh day there. If not, you might have to spend a Bitcoin. But that's what we're here for, is to find out during this beta what it's all about. There is a monthly gift. The super monthly gift for $20 will give you 1,000 gold. And a couple of nice items for 30 days. The $10 one will give you 500 gold. For 30 days, the same thing, both of them, same amount of days. One's just cut in half, so if you don't want to spend the $20, you can spend the 10 and still collect a nice reward there. But we always encourage you, I personally encourage a player to spend the $20 because it'll be worth it. And then 30 days of that, 30,000 gold, plus 30 days of the super items that you get in there that the developer and the game is giving away here. You can't go wrong with that now, mate. Login rewards for new players. Accumulated landing days are up to the required days you can get rewards for that so that means if you log in every day for the eight days here when you start playing the game you'll get a fantastic reward for that as well the king's glory for new players once you the same thing as the login reward kind of like the login rewards castle level reach the requirement you can get fantastic rewards for that so you definitely want to get your castle level up there while you can creating an account within seven days for a new player click the store, go to value packs, buy one, get one free. Now, I don't know any other game that'll give you a buy one, get one free pack. And it's not saying only 99 cent packs, only 50, only $50 packs, only $100 packs, but almost any pack you can get will be buy one, get one free. And you cannot go wrong with that, but make sure you do it within the seven days there. After that, this offer might be gone away and you're going to kick yourself in the ass for not buying into this. Going over all the events here that the game has given away today, I'm going to stop there and go ahead and get into the game, get yourself some of these events, win some great prizes, and I'll see you in there in the first kingdom. Thanks for watching, mates. Stay tuned for more videos.